So let's go back and do the changes we need in the beginning. We just need to change this slightly. We will add a new for loop here instead. Like this. So this should just be the body of the loop. And the first index should be zero. And the last index should be the number of rocks high minus one. Get this one. one put it in the last and yeah let's just break it off for now we'll do one one more thing we will set the the height position so we haven't made that value no let's put that one in And this one should not be an uh, array, just a simple float with the name, uh, come on, rename. Right position, like that. Let's set, set it. And its value should be the index multiplied by the height of each rock, height of rock, like that, into this one, let's connect this with our loop, and just do one more thing, instead of where the rock positions, the x value is set here, but the set is set to zero, but instead we should have it as the the new value we have set, the height pos. Let's put that one in as the set value. Oh, sorry. The set value. Like this. Compile it. Save it. And here we go. We have now three rows. And we can see that each row it's each row is different. So very good. We can now also say if we want five high like that. Now we are only using one rock at the moment and we are not uh, spinning it around, so let's uh, change that. So at the end of our add uh, or the set static mesh, we should uh, swap one, that this one out with a multi gate instead. Multi gate, here we go. This one and the first one is this that's okay let's just uh, w for a new one that's the second option with the same return value of course and this time we should not use the a rock sm underscore rick we should use the b rock like that and one more and one more, we should have four of them. Here we should have the next rock, the D rock, and the bottom one, put in SM underscore, should be the last one, the E rock, like that. Target and target. Let's add two more pins to our multigate. Here we go. And uh, here we go. This one should be a random and it should be a loop. So that we will chase, uh, select a different uh, pin each time and it will not stop when it runs out of pin. It will just start over again. That's very good. Also, you can see that the, the rotation is the same each time. Let's uh, just swap. Um, let's just uh, rotate the rocks as well. Not to a uh, uh, completely random, uh, of course, but uh, we can ch change it 180 degrees uh, in a lot of ways. 
So we take our random stream here, get this one, and we get a random int integer, get random integer from stream, this is the one we want. We want to have, uh, mm -mm, no, we should have the random integer in range, sorry. range the minimum zero maximum one from our stream this is just what we want and we will take this return value and multiply it by a float by 180 degrees so this value is either zero or 180 degrees now we just uh, make three of these ones all connected to the same random stream. Here we go. And let's make a rotator. Make a rotator. Here, here. And oops. So I will uh, randomly rotate our rocks 180 degrees in all possible directions and this should actually be our complete rock save it let's see now nice we put a different mat see if we can uh, zoom in a bit you can see that uh, some sometimes this pattern goes this way the other way we have a lot of different rocks or the rocks are of different sizes so i'm quite happy with this one this one is um, just exactly like the wall i showed you in the beginning so we can now scale it to say 20 high and 50 long if we want that so um this can be pretty handy if you have this uh, oh, it looks stranger but that's just the lighting so I hope this is useful for you and uh, of course if you understand everything I've done it's quite easy to make changes to this one so you can uh, perhaps add some uh, some uh, random foliage to the ball you can do a lot of other things to it so this is just sort of the, the start of what you can do with the random procedural um, generation so I hope you had a good time and that you learned something thank you for watching